What's going on guys? Milky Chips here. Thanks for watching up to this point. Um, what we're doing here is a sort of trophy playthrough of getting the Black Knight Great X early. Uh, it's not quite a trophy playthrough yet because I'm actually still testing stuff. And this is probably the first thing, although this is probably a pretty much guaranteed component of the run. You need to come up here and pick up, sorry these are the cracked red eye orbs. Morningstar and Talisman in there, we don't want that, we just want the humanity, um, Tumwood Bones over here. And Lloyd's Talismans, well, we may as well pick them up because we are going to need them. Now, I was sort of thinking, well, you could do something interesting with uh, grabbing a Firekeeper's Soul and using that to get five extra humanities. But in the end, I decided against it because I thought this wouldn't sort of be palatable to the usual Dark Souls player. Most likely, and it's a really easy Firekeeper Soul to get, you're going to want to be using that to upgrade your Estus. So to be using it just for an extra drop chance on this Black Knight, which might not even help that much, it's just not sort of um, ideal, I suppose. Uh, there would probably be other routes that would be better to get a... Um, uh, more humanities with and uh, those I will be exploring in the future um, but for now I think four humanity is sort of more than enough over the standard and it's just so easy to get like you literally spawn in you pick up the three humanities which used to just be one humanity and you're pretty much on your way now the changes to the sort of tutorial video I made is I grabbed those Homewood Bones. I also didn't grab that Catacombs Bonfire because I just don't see the need in it. Um, assuming all goes well, uh, starting with this jump here, it's pretty hard to fuck that one up. Uh, this should be a, a really, really clean, really smooth playthrough. Um, now I am going to have to quit out and reload here because I do want to save Scum. Um, but if I don't get it sort of first try, I will cut the recording and, um, sorry, I'm just creating the save scum here. I will cut the recording and basically uh, keep trying until I get it and then resume the recording because there's more to this run than just getting the Black Knight Great Axe. So this is the first attempt here in keeping with the usual um, sort of method don't forget to pop your humanities in fact I probably should have done that before I created the save scum so that's a bit of a time waste but it's not going to matter because you guys are not watching um, the non-attempts in keeping with what I showed you in the tutorial you break the first stone platform and then you just drop straight down and quit and reload as soon as you get in great. I just want to roll away from that one because I've decided that attack is not worth the hassle. It's killed me way too many times in practice for me to try it now in a sort of trophy playthrough. 
I'm not sure if I rolled further enough away from that. Missed the parry, that's alright. Missed the par- Missed the parry. See, so that one was lucky because I wasn't exactly at his hilt, so for me to have gotten that, I'm very impressed. I'm sort of switching to Chain BS now because I took quite a bit of damage and I'm not sort of confident in my ability to not stuff up. Because it, it's kind of a psychological thing, like you sort of, you miss a couple parries and then it's all just downhill from there. Usually like the more perfect something goes, that's just how it is, you know. I'm going alright here. He's backed up, that's great. And we basically just have to be on our A-game here. Now I can hear the skeletons running above me. They're pathing to the next... And I just realized I had an opportunity to go for that there. Okay, so I'm going to cut the recording here. And I'll see you guys in about zero seconds. We're back, guys. Uh, I did get the Black Knight Great Axe. This didn't take me too long, actually. It actually just took me about four minutes. I died to the Black Knight uh, once or twice. Again, to the shoulder attack. Um, so we got the Black Knight Great Axe here. I'm going to pick up the Solar Proud Knight. Now I did start using a shield, uh, and this was the first run that I started using a shield. Basically my thinking was with the shoulder attack, because I died to it twice, I could sort of block it and then parry the second um, if I were to get hit by that first one. But I kind of stopped using it. I didn't test this, but I'm pretty sure if I just hold my shield up, what will happen is he will start to... Um, he will start to uh, shield bash me, which I don't want to happen. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start a another save scum, and I know it's not really quite a trophy playthrough if I keep save scumming, but I kind of feel like I'm not yet super prepared with the run to Nido, uh, not Nido, uh, Pinwheel. Uh, I'm fine with the run in the Tomb of the Giants, so... Without sort of saves coming here, I kind of just waste a bit of time dying to these bone wheels a lot. Um, it might be a good idea actually to have the shield and just hold it out. And already that's a double hit. I can't take any more. I knew that one would come for me. Um, I'll keep doing this one on camera because it's not that short in between um, attempts and it kind of, it shows my sort of learning process here, so as with any saves coming, you have to quit and reload, you have to go to your, you have to go to your folder, oh sorry, undo delete, I want to copy that. And yeah, I know it takes away from, you know, the goodness of the run, but it is what it is, I mean. Basically, I think after I run it like this, they'll just, like, it just eclipses you in the stupidest way. And this is why, of course, bone wheels are hated and all that, but, you know, there's, I'm just gonna, I am gonna get hit by something here eventually. That one clipped me. But I think I can pretty much get to the... I thought that one was going to hit me, but he just started leashing backwards. Okay, so it only died once, but the second one wasn't too clean. Now what we need to do here is kill the pinwheel. So here, because I ran off and then spammed, I could actually break the stagger. So that would be the difference with if you'd watch my other build. Um, I just rolled twice unnecessarily. Kind of homes in on you a bit. That's the Kamehameha I was talking about. I don't bother killing these clones because he just summons more. Like, I don't have the DPS. Oh, wrong one. I'm kind of like not ignore. I'm kind of ignoring half the map. Just because I've sort of. I don't know, I've kind of got myself into a bad spot here. The the other clones are on sort of extremes of the boss arena. You kind of can get away with playing pretty sloppily here. I mean, it's, it's not like you get one shot unless you get hit by multiple beads at once. I'm kind of...
kind of too close for him to need to roll that. Oh shit, that won't hit me. Okay. But I would like to roll that one. So he kind of, yeah, kills his own clones in preparation for this mega bonsai. Which I'm just gonna have to just roll around like a madman until shit just quiets down. And I lost track of the original. It's over here, it's good. Kamehameha. It will be. I, I lost track of him. So in this situation here where I lost track, I'm just gonna have to punch all the clones. And I'm missing, I'm missing a lot. It's kinda hard to punch with the left. It's okay. Maybe the real one might do something that'll clue me in who he is. It's a fake. Pretty sloppy fight overall, but at least we didn't take damage. It's always cool. Mask of the Mother. That's actually a pretty good one. Uh, I would have hoped for Mask of the Father. Anyhow, we get our souls, and I'm gonna do the run for the Silver Serpent Ring. Hopefully, I don't die, cause it's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of easy to die in Tomb of the Giants. It's very poss, like it's possible. It's not sort of easy. Like it, it doesn't actually happen all that much, but it's very possible. It's sort of the problem you run into. This humanity here would have been nice. And now we just gotta hug the wall. This big dog here is probably my biggest worry, I guess. You just kind of have to keep holding run and just hope for the best. And then because it's dark here and I don't come... I mean, look, I, I come here often, but I've been playing this game that much recently. So you sort of just got to know your pathing. And it's kind of tough, but... Uh, that's scary as, because I didn't break the bones. I sort of rolled to the side of them. Okay, so I think this is pretty much the tail end of our trophy run here. I know that jump won't kill me, I mean I'm scared, but it won't kill me. So this is the point where you just have to admire the great view. No point has to sing up, but this is where you would homeward bone. I'm not sure why I have seven homeward bones. Um Oh, killing pinwheel gives you a homeward bone. Alright, so the original run wasn't that bad anyway. But yeah, basically now we've got the Black Knight Great Axe, we've got twenty-two thousand souls, which I don't think will level us up enough for the um, strength, because you need like 24 strength, yeah, I'm just not close enough, but I'm really close, 18 dex, 21 strength, this is one of those sort of overpowered early runs, I definitely want to grab Havel's Ring, because that will allow me to roll with this Black Knight Great Axe, it'll also just give me the souls, and it's on my way, you'd probably want to skip Taurus with this, because Black Knight Great Axe, yeah, it's a nice PvP weapon for sure. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much the run, guys. I'm going to continue my run from this point on. But hopefully you guys can sort of mimic this run, emulate it, do the same thing. Don't forget to equip your covetous silver serpent ring. Um, it's going to carry you through the game pretty much. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the run. Make sure to comment, subscribe, leave a like, whatever it is. And uh, stay tuned for more Dark Souls content because I think I'm going to start putting some out. Cheers, guys.